Dr. Astrid Stuckelberger, a Swiss scientist and researcher, has recently drawn significant attention for her bold and controversial claims about CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. She argues that CERN, while known for its advanced scientific research, is also involved in a secret nuclear program and has a portal beneath its facilities from which mysterious beings travel. These assertions have ignited widespread debate, questioning the true nature of CERN's activities and the broader implications of such claims. It is our largest collider in the world. Um, some people describe it as the world's biggest freezer. Dr. Stuckelberger, who has a background in public health and has worked with organizations like the World Health Organization, goes beyond typical scientific critique with her concerns. She suggests that CERN's secret nuclear program is hidden from the public and that their portal beneath CERN provides access to another dimension or reality, through which possibly extraterrestrial beings move. Her claims have stirred various online communities, particularly those interested in hidden agendas and secret government projects. Additionally, Dr. Stuckelberger contends that physicists at CERN have indicated the existence of at least 17 different realms of existence. Two years ago, Dr. Stuckelberger interviewed Maria Z on Z Media, where she discussed various unusual topics, including troubling experiments. Dr. Stuckelberger claimed that CERN is involved in radionuclear research and conducts unconventional experiments with the help of numerous physicists. She reported that CERN physicists told her about entities entering and exiting through portals. Though these claims are unusual, Dr. Stuckelberger is not alone in making them. The notion that CERN might be engaged in secretive nuclear programs arises from the fact that CERN's research involves high-energy particle collisions, which resemble nuclear reactions. However, CERN's work differs fundamentally from nuclear weapons research. The Large Hadron Collider is intended to study subatomic particles at high energies, but not at the scale needed for nuclear explosions or weaponry. Additionally, CERN is governed by strict international regulations and transparency, with its research published in open scientific journals and its facilities regularly inspected by international bodies. Nonetheless, Dr. Stuckelberger's claims highlight a broader concern that advanced scientific research could be misused for military or other harmful purposes, a fear supported by historical instances where scientific advances were used destructively, such as during the development of nuclear weapons in the 20th century. The more intriguing part of Dr. Stuckelberger's claims involves the supposed portal beneath CERN and the being said to enter and exit through it. This concept is similar to science fiction movies, where advanced technology often acts as a gateway to other dimensions or realities. The idea of a portal at CERN relates to the notion that the Large Hadron Collider, by replicating conditions from the early universe, might be creating a rift in space-time. Although portals in other dimensions are popular topics in theoretical physics, there's no credible evidence that CERN's experiments have produced such a phenomenon. Nevertheless, various people have claimed that CERN is involved in mysterious experiments. The idea of multiple dimensions beyond our three spatial ones is supported by theories like string theory, though these remain speculative. If a portal at CERN were real, it would imply that the Collider's experiments had achieved something extraordinary, potentially linking our reality to another. Dr. Stuckelberger's statements about beings entering and exiting through this portal add a layer of mystery and fascination to the story. She describes these beings as potentially extraterrestrial or from another realm, suggesting they're not constrained by the physical laws of our universe. The idea of such entities interacting with our world is profound, raising questions about their intentions, nature, and the possible impact of their presence on Earth. If this portal does exist, it would challenge our fundamental understanding of reality. It implies that CERN's experiments might not have only opened a gateway to another dimension, but also introduced unknown entities into our own world. The notion that advanced intelligent beings could be using this portal for purposes beyond our grasp is both awe-inspiring and unsettling. It points to a level of technological and scientific advancement far beyond human achievements, and prompts significant ethical and existential questions. The existence of a portal beneath CERN would necessitate a new approach to comprehending the universe, pushing the boundaries of science, and potentially leading to breakthroughs in technology, energy, and communication, while also posing risks that we may not be ready to face. The potential risks of misusing or weaponizing such a portal are too significant to ignore. If entities from another dimension or reality were to enter our world, 
their intentions and the impact on life on Earth could be unpredictable. This might cause disruptions in cultural, social, and biological aspects on an unprecedented scale. Scientists often discuss wormholes, theoretical constructs in space-time that, according to some interpretations of general relativity and string theory, could connect distant locations in the universe or even link different realms through a tunnel-like passage. In 2012, researchers at CERN were studying the Higgs boson particle when an unexpected event occurred. According to this theory, their experiments might have disturbed the very fabric of space-time, potentially leading to the destruction of our universe and the transition into a parallel one. According to the hypothesis, our universe might not be our own, but rather an experimental one created by an unknown entity. This entity is believed to be manipulating the universe to observe the effects of their experiments. This idea is proposed as an explanation for phenomena like the Mandela effect and other supernatural occurrences. News outlets that have looked into these claims note that CERN's research at the Collider is groundbreaking. However, they point out that CERN is essentially recreating controlled versions of the collisions that naturally occur in our atmosphere. Theoretical physicists are exploring topics similar to those of amateur researchers, though their methods are very different. Professional scientists, including quantum and theoretical physicists, have theorized about multiple universes, wormholes, teleportation, the possibility that reality is a simulation, as well as other related concepts. CERN aims to fill knowledge gaps in fundamental physics and understand the mechanisms behind various phenomena. It's important to note that CERN does not create these phenomena. The Large Hadron Collider, based at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research near Geneva, Switzerland, is one of the most ambitious scientific projects ever. As the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in the world, it can recreate conditions that existed just after the Big Bang. The Collider has led to major discoveries, such as the Higgs boson, but it also remains enigmatic, both in the profound scientific questions it addresses and the speculative theories it has generated. The Large Hadron Collider is an engineering and physics marvel, housed in a 17-kilometer or 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets buried underground, crossing the French-Swiss border. It accelerates particles, mainly protons, to near-light speed and collides them with high energy. By examining these collisions, scientists study the fundamental particles and forces of the universe. One of its main goals is to test and expand the standard model of particle physics, the current framework for understanding the basic building blocks of matter. The discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012 was a major achievement for the collider and confirmed a key part of the standard model. Known as the God particle, the Higgs boson is responsible for giving other particles their mass. Its discovery helped explain why particles have mass and how they interact. However, the Collider has not answered all the physicists' questions about the universe. In fact, its findings often lead to more questions. Some of the major mysteries the Large Hadron Collider seeks to explore include dark matter, dark energy, extra dimensions, and the early universe. Dark matter, which makes up about 27% of the universe, is a form of matter that does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects. Dark energy, which constitutes about 68% of the universe, is believed to drive the accelerated expansion of the universe. Despite their significant roles, dark matter and dark energy are still not well understood. Scientists are hopeful that the Collider, with its high-energy collisions, might create particles that could help identify dark matter or offer clues about dark energy. Another area of interest is the potential existence of extra dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. This idea comes from theories like string theory, which suggests that there could be hidden dimensions we don't perceive. By recreating the extreme conditions of the early universe, the Collider might provide evidence for these extra dimensions and help address some major issues in theoretical physics, such as unifying gravity with other fundamental forces. The Large Hadron Collider also offers a unique view into the early universe. By colliding particles at extremely high energies, it replicates the conditions that were present just moments after the Big Bang. This enables scientists to study how the universe evolved from a hot, dense state into the expansive cosmos that we see today. Insights gained from observing matter and energy at these early stages could shed light on the universe's origins and the fundamental laws of nature. The advanced work done by the Collider has sparked various speculative theories and public concerns. One of the most persistent worries is that the Collider might create a black hole capable of consuming the Earth. While the Collider could theoretically generate tiny, short-lived black holes, 
these would be harmless and evaporate almost immediately due to Hawking radiation. The collider operates at energy levels much lower than those needed to form a stable, large-scale black hole. Another theory suggests that the Large Hadron Collider could accidentally open a portal to another dimension or produce a strangelet, a hypothetical particle that could transform normal matter into strange matter, potentially causing severe consequences. However, these ideas remain speculative and are not supported by current scientific understanding of the Collider's capabilities and the laws of physics. The connection between CERN and UFOs often stems from speculative theories and the sense of mystery that surrounds the organization's work. Given CERN's role in exploring the fundamental questions about the universe, it's become a focal point for various conspiracy theories, including those involving extraterrestrial life. One key factor driving the speculation is CERN's involvement in high-energy physics, particularly with the Large Hadron Collider. The LHC's experiments are aimed at understanding fundamental particles and forces, and its ability to recreate conditions close to those just after the Big Bang contributes to its enigmatic reputation. This extraordinary scientific endeavor naturally sparks the imagination and curiosity of people, leading some to entertain the idea that CERN might be involved in something beyond conventional scientific research, including contact with extraterrestrials. A prominent theory concerning CERN with UFOs involves the idea that the experiments conducted at the LHC might be creating conditions that allow extraterrestrial beings to access our dimension. Proponents of this theory argue that the LHC's particle collisions could potentially open rifts or portals to other dimensions or realities. They suggest that these rifts might allow extraterrestrial beings to enter our world, or for us to make contact with them. This idea is fueled by the fact that CERN scientists are exploring the fundamental structure of the universe, which involves concepts like extra dimensions and the fabric of space-time. Another reason why people believe in a connection between CERN and extraterrestrial life is a portrayal of CERN and its research in popular culture. Science fiction often depicts high-energy physics experiments as gateways to other worlds or dimensions. Films, TV shows, and books frequently use the premise of advanced science as a plot device to explore the idea of contact with aliens or uncover hidden knowledge about the universe. These portrayals can blur the line between science fiction and reality leading to a public perception that CERN's work might be more mysterious or sinister than it actually is. Additionally, the secrecy and security surrounding CERN's projects can fuel speculation. While CERN operates with a high level of transparency, the nature of its research often requires confidentiality to protect the integrity of experiments and the intellectual property involved. This secrecy can sometimes lead to misunderstandings and foster conspiracy theories, as people might fill in the gaps with their own interpretations. The notion that CERN's research could be linked to extraterrestrial life thrives in the absence of concrete evidence or clear explanations available to the general public. A key element of the UFO-CERN connection theory is the concept of energy signatures. Some theorists speculate that the high-energy particle collisions at the LHC might produce energy signatures or anomalies that could attract the attention of extraterrestrial civilizations. They suggest that such energy signatures could be detected by advanced alien technologies or might create detectable disturbances in space-time that aliens could exploit. This idea is supported by the assumption that if extraterrestrial beings are capable of traveling between dimensions or across vast distances in space, they would be able to detect significant energy events occurring on Earth. Another angle of speculation involves CERN's research into antimatter. Antimatter when it comes into contact with matter, annihilates in a burst of energy. The potential applications of antimatter and the research into its production and containment have spurred imaginative theories about its use in advanced technologies or as a means of communication with extraterrestrial civilizations. Some believe that experiments involving antimatter at CERN could inadvertently lead to breakthroughs in understanding or contacting alien life. Moreover, some UFO enthusiasts point to historical incidents and reports of unusual phenomena around the time of significant CERN experiments. They argue that sightings of UFOs or unusual aerial phenomena in the vicinity of CERN's facilities might be linked to the organization's research. These claims often lack substantial evidence, but contribute to the narrative that CERN's activities are connected to extraterrestrial phenomena. The occasional misinterpretation of scientific equipment, such as unusual lights or sounds during experiments, can be seized upon as evidence of UFO activity or secret alien encounters. 
the idea that CERN might be involved in a secretive government-backed program related to UFOs or extraterrestrial contact is another facet of the speculation. Some conspiracy theorists argue that CERN's research could be part of a larger, covert agenda involving advanced alien technologies or attempts to reverse-engineer extraterrestrial technology. This theory often intertwines with other conspiracy narratives about government secrecy and hidden agendas, adding yet another layer to the belief that CERN is connected to UFOs and extraterrestrial life. On a more psychological level, the fascination with UFOs and extraterrestrial life often intersects with the human desire to find meaning and connection in the vastness of the universe. The idea that CERN, an organization at the forefront of exploring fundamental questions about existence, might be involved in uncovering or interacting with alien life, taps into deep-seated human curiosity and the allure of the unknown. For some, believing in a connection between CERN and extraterrestrial life provides a sense of wonder and excitement about the possibilities that lie beyond our current understanding. However, it's important to address the scientific perspective on these claims. From a scientific standpoint, there's no evidence to support the idea that CERN's experiments are linked to extraterrestrial life or UFO phenomena. The Large Hadron Collider is designed to study particles and forces at the smallest scales, aiming to answer questions about the fundamental nature of the universe. The theories involving portals or alien contact are speculative and not supported by empirical data or the scientific understanding of particle physics. CERN operates with rigorous scientific protocols, and its research is subject to peer review and scrutiny by the global scientific community. The organization's findings are published in reputable scientific journals, and its experiments are designed to be reproducible and verifiable. Theories about extraterrestrial contact or secret programs involving UFOs lack the necessary scientific evidence and are not part of the mainstream scientific discourse. Despite the speculative theories, the scientific community remains focused on the tangible goals of CERN's research. The LHC's experiments aim to expand our understanding of fundamental particles, test theoretical models, and explore phenomena such as the Higgs boson, dark matter, and extra dimensions. The knowledge gained from these experiments contributes to our understanding of the universe and has practical implications for various fields of science and technology. The idea of portals or other dimensions often arises from the excitement surrounding theoretical physics and the quest for a unified theory that can explain all fundamental forces of nature. While these concepts are explored in theoretical physics, they remain speculative and are not directly linked to any evidence of extraterrestrial life. The Large Hadron Collider, despite its advanced capabilities, operates within the bounds of known physics, and its experiments aim to confirm or refute existing theories based on empirical data. Moreover, the notion that CERN could be involved in extraterrestrial contact or hidden agendas is not supported by any credible scientific evidence or verified observations. The rigorous peer-reviewed process and transparency of CERN's research ensure that its findings are subjected to scrutiny by the global scientific community. Any claims or theories that suggest otherwise should be critically evaluated and understood within the context of their speculative nature, rather than as established facts. So that seems enough for today's video. Please share your perspective in the comment section below and stay tuned for more content.